I will ask Armando Rey to come with me and uh, give me an interview, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so congratulations. Thank you. You it did amazing. So oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> okay, so we're going to ask a, you know, a few questions. I know you're exhausted. <laughs> one night down, <laughs> one night down. How did, how did you feel? First uh, audience for this play. I, I mean, I felt really good. You know, it was uh, the audience. We had a beautiful audience, and they were very responsive. You know, so that they were part of the cast. So it was res they were responding when, I mean, at all times when I expected them to, when they didn't expect them. So it was like this journey that we all took tonight in there, and I I really loved it. You it definitely was, got the positive energy from everyone. Yes, so yes, I, so nice. As I was out here and I was interviewing uh, interviewing quite a few people, um, nobody, I mean everybody actually had nothing but wonderful things to say about you, and oh, uh, so and a, and a lot of them were or are um, close to you already. So that yeah. is very important to receive that kind of support, and. Um, I hope that you continue to receive the support. Now, is, again, this is the first night you have three weekends to go. Yeah. Are you ready for that? I am. I, yes, definitely. I am so ready for that. Yeah, I mean, this is, this. yeah, of course. Now, and, now out of the characters, now and back to the play, now out of the characters, um, we are able to, I think most people will relate to at least one of them. Yeah. And which one was your favorite or which one is your favorite to play? Oh my God, um, I don't know that I have an actual favorite. It seems like every time we do the whole run, like one character pops out the most for that particular run and then that becomes my favorite one at that moment. And then we'll do the show again, at least during the rehearsal process. And then I would be like, wait, no, that was my, that's my favorite one. So it changes. Um, you know, they're all so special and they, they, all, they all have their, their I don't know, their outlook in life. And, um, and I, I can't say that I have a favorite okay. one because each one of them is so special and each one of them has something to say and each one of them has an experience, you know? Was there one oh, that was... This is my favorite. There we go, that's a, that's a really good answer. He, you play seven characters, correct? Correct, yeah. And not only that, but he plays seven characters and seven accents, pretty much. Well, I, yeah. I call... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. I, yeah. I heard at least three or four, yeah, right? Yeah, it's so. Like, yeah, it's at least seven different. I mean, each character is so different, you know, and um, that they each have their own tone of voice. They each have, you know, where they come from. Uh, you have the, the guy from the valley, you know, and then right. you have the Cuban guy. Um, and then you have the guy that just came to the United States and, right. you know, speaks... I mean, fairly good enough English, but, you know, with the thick accent. So, yeah, it's uh, it, the different accents for each character. Right. And then just the message itself, it's so important. And just like James said earlier when I spoke to him, he said that it's very relevant, even though it was written in the 90s, it's very relevant to what we're going through politically now, right? Right, yeah. So what do you have to say about that? No, I mean, you know, with, yeah, exactly, like everything going on, uh, you hear about riots, you hear about immigration, you hear about gay rights, you hear about all this stuff, you know, and, um, and it's all happening now, and it's the same thing. You know, one, uh, one of the things that when I would present this, this play to some people, like other theater companies, uh, not in this area, but um, a lot of times they would say, well, you know, that's, that's kind of an old play. It's not, you know, that, that's not happening anymore. But, uh, you know, to, uh, to me, I would be like, well, actually, it is happening. It's happening. Uh, one of the big things was like th that I would, uh, that they would tell me a lot is, you know, well, people don't really die of AIDS anymore. But the fact is, is that they did. They did. And they still are. And it's Maybe not as much as before, but they still are. And so I don't think we need to silence those things. You know what I mean? Right. So um, it's still very relevant to today in, in all different aspects. And yeah, the characters, all the characters are gay, but it doesn't focus on that. You know, they just happen to be gay, but it's their surrounding, what's, what, what their experience in, in, in the United States is. And I think that's what people relate to, no matter what your sexuality is or, you know, whatever. <laughs> no, that's very true. And um, now, as, as yourself, as Armando, yes. is, there, uh, is there something that you relate 
um, to the play, not necessarily the characters or, but just something, I don't know. Um, we, we're talking about immigration, we're talking about, again, a lot of the things that we're going through now. So anything that you would say? I mean, I, you know, in each character, I try to find things that I relate to with my personal life because I like to connect to my characters uh, internally and to bring out a real emotion. Um, and, you know, I just moved back from San Francisco. I was living there for seven years. And, but one of the characters is, you know, he just got to Los Angeles for the first time and he's still trying to find his place, you know, including like he says, you know, the only thing I'm missing now is a man. And yeah. so in a lot of different ways, I, I could relate to that character, like, you know, the things that he was going through and then re remembering like when I was in San Francisco, like when I first got there and, you know, um, just, just trying to find what I'm doing or w where I'm at and then talking to my mom on the phone, you know. Yeah. So the, I, I could relate a lot to him, uh, but you know, the, with the other ones, there's, there's a lot of um, uh, areas that I could relate to or know people that, you know, like the, like the guy that changes his name to sound more American, right. you know. Yeah. I mean, that's definitely, I, I've met people like that. I can't say any names, sorry. <laughs> right here, right here. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. I don't thank know if there's something you. else that you would like to add. I, I cannot reiterate more to the audience than to come and check it out. Um, thank you. It would be such a shame for those that miss it. So you guys yes, need to be here. You know, Anything you want to I add? would love for everybody to come and see the show. This is a dream come true for me, and I want to share this with you. This is something, this is a project that I've had for many years. And, um, and I'm so happy that I could bring this to my hometown, you know, because there were talks about, okay, we're going to do it in San Francisco, we're going to do it in L.A., and everything happens the way it's supposed to happen. You know, my great director, James Donlin, he was back in town. We had never met. Uh, we, we had a meeting with his wife, and it just, you know, it, it just made sense at, at this moment. And so it just made me really happy that it was going to happen here in Oxnard, that it was going to happen with Teatro de las Americas, which is a theater that I really started my career with like years ago, years, years ago, you know. So all these elements, it, I, just, I just want everybody here to see it. Yeah, it's a great it's a great show. It's a great play, and um, it's got a great message. And I think that right now is is more than ever. I think uh, we all have to give support, you know, support each other, and um, yeah. So. so what you say? You're here to stay. I am. I am. I am. I'll go everywhere, but I'm always coming back. Man. There you yeah, go. Yeah, I've got my house. <laughs> well, not a house. It's an apartment. <laughs> All right. Well, good night. It's by the air for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, um, thank you so much. Yes, and I'll be seeing you, and good you. luck for the, the next thank few you. nights. Okay? Thank you so much. All right. Yes. Thank you, guys. And Gracias. we'll see you at Teatro de las Americas.